This is WENR, the voice of service in Chicago. At this time, WENR leaves the air in favor of WLF. Good evening, everyone. You are now listening to WLS, the voice of Prairie Farmer, America's oldest farm paper, Chicago. of Johnson's Wax bring you more musical moments of unmitigated merriment with Rico Marcelli's orchestra, Ronald Mansfield, Charlie Wilson, the Johnson Merry Men, and Marion and Jim as those gay and garrulous gadders, those gasoline gondoliers, Fibber McGee and Molly. <laughs> Marcelli and his men leave their broadcasting for forecasting, and they find it's going to get hotter with shifting woodwinds and a rain of rhythm in The Weatherman. Wrap it up, Rico. In the midst of this sparkling music, let me remind you that now is the time to wax your car. Your family, your friends will be proud to ride with you when your car sparkles and gleams with a Johnson Wax Polish. Ask your dealer for Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner. You'll receive a can of fine quality black touch-up enamel absolutely free when you make your purchase. Don't delay another day. Wax your car the Johnson way. a jug of wine and thou. Well, that's Fibber McGee and Molly. Two loafers, bread, a jug of the motor, and thousands of miles behind them, they come in sight of a new real estate development. Look, McGee, it is a carnival. Let's stop. Oh, shut, Molly. We ain't got time to go messing around those dead red carnivals. Besides, it ain't a carnival. Well, then what is it? Look at the people and the flags and all. I don't know. What's the flag say on them? Well, slow down so I can read them, isn't it? Okay. What's the sign say, Molly? I can't read them and drive, too. Oh, must be a new subdivision, McGee. It says, Wistful Vista Home Site. A dollar down. <laughs> Buy a lot for a little. A lot of what? Build a home for the land sake. Who is me to them? The realest real estate ever bought. Oh, shucks. We don't want to stop and listen to a lot of high-pressure salesmen chip. Look, we... McGee, that time. Where? Barbecue sandwiches and coffee free. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them brakes fixed. You need to stop so sudden. 
He near broke me neck. I know. I just happened to think. Every American citizen ought to be interested in the home building, Molly. It's the backbone of our... Ah, oh, go on with you, McGee. <laughs> it's your wishbone you're talking about. <laughs> you're wishing for a free sandwich. Oh, shucks, Molly. Hello, I... hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> is one hello too many, mister? There's only two of us. So I see. Yes, so I see. Two is the very type of citizen we want to see settled down on a little nest on this beautiful development, folks. Here's where you get a lot for a little. A home for half and contentment on every dotted line. Yes, sir, folks. Uh, what oh. is this place now? This place, madam? Why, this is none other than that beautiful landscape, Haggle Myers, wistful vista subdivision. <laughs> Wired for light, piped for gas, paved for pavement, ditch for sewers, and for only the small sum. Well, uh, where do you get them free sandwiches, brother? And coffee. <laughs> right over there, sir, at the barbecue bed. But before you avail yourself of Haggle Myers, wistful vista hospitality, let me give you a short summary of our proposition here. We have probably the finest, the most economic. Come on, Molly, get out. I don't know why we can't get a mouthful and an earful at the same time. <laughs> Where'd you say this here free barbecue pit was, brother? Well, I must inform you that that word free is conditional. And oh. what do you mean conditional? Free is free. Oh, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Free without the slightest reservation to those who hold tickets for the grand drawing. Grand what? What do you mean, tickets for the grand drawing? Do you mean to say that you'll come within 10,000 miles of Hagelmeyer's blissful vista without learning from every man, woman, and child the sensational details of our sales stimulant? Oh, sure. Why, sir and madam... Here is opportunity itself, knocking, nay, thundering at your door. That's all I want is opportunity to sink my teeth into a barbecue for the paltry sum of only two dollars, sir. You buy a ticket which may bring you shelter in your declining days, a haven from the storms of the future, the dream of every solid citizen of this great commonwealth. Oh, you mean you're selling chances onto a house? A house. A house. Did you say a house, madam? Certainly I said This is the house. (laughs) The house of your dreams, madam. A cove of contentment. The realization of a lifetime's yearning. The answer to a woman's prayer. Look there. Where? Where? There. Oh. (laughs) Direct your gaze at that fine covered cottage. That marvelous modern example of the architect's art. The home of your heart's desire. Right over there. Oh, the house. (laughs) Well, it is real pretty, isn't it, McGee? Oh, it's okay. Now, where did you say this here barbecue? Oh, McGee. You gotta have a ticket, the man says. It's only two dollars, and you have a chance to win that house a lot, too. Am I right, mister? The miserable truth. For the miserable sum of two dollars. What in the chunk is so miserable about two bucks, brother? <laughs> That'll buy twenty sandwiches. And let me tell you, brother, a hamburger in the hand is worth a house in the hat any day. <laughs> Come on, Molly, we better get back wait to Wait now, our McGee, wait. Buy me a ticket. Buy you a... What was that, Molly? You heard me, McGee. Buy me a ticket. Well, for the... You mean you spend two dollars? McGee, to... I'm sorry. Uh, say, brother, how many sandwiches are you entitled to when you got a ticket? Oh, there's no limit, sir. It's merely a gesture of hospitality on the part of the Hagelmeyer Wistful Vista Development Company. <laughs> we feel that a well-fed customer is a better prospect. You mean so... you can eat as much as you want? Yes. Uh, give me a ticket. <laughs> there you are, sir. And as a friend to friend, I may say that you've never made a more intelligent purchase. It is... You mean as one real estate man to another, brother? Oh, Uh, now, McGee, give the man his two dollars and let's be eaten. Here's your two bucks, brother. As I was saying, I used to dabble my real estate myself. Tropical real estate. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. O'Reilly and McGee. (laughs) O'Reilly and McGee, the park payment promoted to Panama. Used to sell banana plantations mostly. Some pineapple farms and rubber timber, but mostly bananas. Still, you should ought to see the work we've done on the pineapple plantation. But if you'll excuse me, you sir, ain't I... flying into my business a bit, brother. <laughs> Always glad to share my experience with another real estate man. As I was saying, you should have seen the old Riley and McGee part payment promotion of pineapple plantation. <laughs> oh, now, McGee, the man wants, wants to... to hear about how I done her. I know. <laughs> you see, brother. I was probably the leading banana land promoter in Panama at the time. Banana oil. Banana oil. No, banana land. I had me the biggest plantation of bananas onto the island of Pago Pago. Is that so? Why? Even the hurricane of 1908 never fazed me. Really? Even though the lightning bust every banana tree I owned right down the middle of the trunk. Lightning struck every banana tree? Right down the middle. But it never disturbed me none. I just took one look at them trees. Ordered a herd of Jersey cows shipped in and set up an ice cream plant. What for? Banana split for the export trade. Uh, <laughs> come on, Molly.
That was Mark Kelly and his men confessing to a starlight superstition, I wished on the moon. And I might say right here that if you ever wished on the moon, or just wished that your car could keep that brilliant factory finish, Johnson's Auto Wax will keep it yes, that sir, way. Yes, Harpo, I always say that it's... Now, is... just a minute, Fibber. My name is Harlow, once and for all. Okay. That's once for you, and for all of me, it's still Harpo. <laughs> I will tell you about the time I had me the bee farm down in Turkey Run, Indiana. Oh, uh, an apiary. I says bees, not monkeys. <laughs> well, sir, one day in 1906, or no, or seven it was. I oh, was I'm out... sorry, Fibber, but my time is I know, well your I time can't... is my time. <laughs> As I was saying, I drove into my bee farm one day and started giving the car a Johnson Wax. And I happened to lay the can of wax down by one of my hives. Oh, you had the hive. <laughs> no, my bees had the hive. Oh. I had the bees. <laughs> but I lays me the can of Johnson's wax down by one of the hives, and all of a sudden I see Hortense. Hortense, uh, she was a queen bee from uh, Hamp's Mother Honey Farm next door. <laughs> I see Hortense looking down into that can of wax real curious. Then she give a kind of an angry buzz and flew away home. The next thing I knew, there she was back again with the whole swarm of bees from the Hamp's mother honey farm. Ah, she went and got her gang. Yep. And when the buzzing had died down a mite, I could hear her say to them other bees, she says, sitting on the edge of the can of Johnson's auto axe, she says, listen, you mug, she buzzes, get a load of the work that's being done over here. Look at that wax. That there is wax as is wax. Now go on home and see what you can do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mickey, now, will you let Mr. Wilcox get on to this work? Okay, okay. I was just giving Harpo here a nature lesson, but he ain't got the intelligence to grasp my stuff. Well, <laughs> we don't know about bees, but here's a tip that's uh, honey. Now is the time to wax your car. Don't drive around another day in a dirty, dull, faded-looking car. It gives everybody a very poor impression of you. And it's so easy to take away all that unattractive, dirty film and give your car a gleaming polish that shines like new. It's easy, that is, if you use Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner. These two products are regular miracle workers. They transform your car right before your eyes. With Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner, the work is done in about half the usual time. You'll be proud of your car when you see all the sparkle come back to the finish. It will look like it did when you first drove it out of the showroom. So go to your dealer at once and ask for Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner. Let me assure you that Johnson's Auto Cleaner contains no harsh abrasive. It does a miraculous cleaning job, and it positively does not harm the finish. Insist on Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner and save the finish on your car. And now, the show stands still for Ronnie Mansfield, our handsome Irish tenor, who stands pat at the mic to sing, And Then My Heart Stood Still. <laughs>
blissful Vista real estate development. Amid the banners and bunting, barbecues and bologna, where Fibber and Molly are getting their two dollars worth of sandwiches and coffee at the expense of Mr. Hagelmeyer. Well, McGee, if you're able to walk, let's be going. Oh, shucks, Molly. You might let a fellow finish his sandwich. His sandwich? Yep. <laughs> Go on with you, McGee. You've had so much beef, I'll have to ride herd on you for the next two weeks. <laughs> Chuck, you've done all right yourself, Molly. I know. I ate my dollar's worth in Piccadilly alone. <laughs> Stare up your ticket and let's go. Hey, now, wait a minute, Molly. Chuck, I paid two dollars for that uh, ticket. Yes, I don't... and that's four dollars worth of sandwiches and coffee. You don't think you'll win a house in lots, do you? Well, you never know, Molly. Look at the number on that ticket, McGee. Where? Right on the corner there. Read it. 131,313. Well, what about it? What about it? And do you think you'll win an, on number 13, 13, 13? There's three strikes on you, McGee. Well, Chuck, that don't mean nothing, Molly. Add it up. One and three is four, and four is eight, and four is twelve. Twelve is a lucky number, according to numberology. An uh, even dozen. Sure. An even dozen that doesn't mean anything. Oh, it is a nice little house. But you got no more chance of winning it than making a fortune on 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 spaghetti in Ethiopia. <laughs> oh well, you have to admit, Molly, oh, there, my friend. Oh dear. I hope you've enjoyed the hospitality of Hagelmeyer's Whistle Vista. Oh sure, they was real nice barbecues, Mister. But we gotta be on our way now. Oh no, 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 madam. You cannot afford to pass up the home making opportunity of a lifetime. Why, when you consider what Hagelmeyer's Wistful Vista offers you in the way... You got any soda tablets on you, bud? <laughs> Wait. No, sir, I'm afraid not. Are you will? <laughs> this is barbecued beef stampeding, mister. <laughs> Come on, McGee. Okay, glad to have met you, brother. Oh, but wait. You haven't heard the real true story. The romance behind the founding of Hagelmeyer's Wistful Vista. Oh, we are building a community, sir. We are interested in laying the very cornerstones of civic development. We want to see homes and more homes with healthy, happy citizens. Little kiddies going to school. Oh, <laughs> Both from a hundred contented chimneys, even at a sacrifice. Sacrifice? Ah, uh, yes. What is a monetary loss? Well, when, when you can sell 131,313 tickets for $2 apiece, making $262,626 for a house that couldn't have cost more than 4000 to put up, Ha! Answer me that, Mr. Sacrifice. <laughs> well, I'm afraid, madam, that... Oh, here is Mr. Hagelmeyer himself. Mr. Hagelmeyer, these good people appear a bit skeptical of the sincerity of our wistful vista. I want you to meet Mr. Hagelmeyer, folks. Mr. Hagelmeyer, this is Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh... McGee. What? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just telling Mr. Hagelsnuffer the name. Uh, Hagelmeyer, madam. Mr. Hagelmeyer will tell you all the advantages and opportunities embraced in the purchase and ownership of a little home in Hagelmeyer's Wistful Vista. And the drawing of the lucky number will be held in just a few moments now. Mr. Hagelmeyer will be more than... My, my, Mr. Hagelcooper, do all these people pay two dollars for a few barbecues and coffee and ballyhooey? Do you mean to say uh, that is to remark... Uh, never, never let it be said, well, Herman Hagelmeyer ever... Well, what do you think? You know what I think, Haggy? I think that this here is a big gif. I think what we ought to do is well, get what? out. What? What? You mean to say there and stand... I mean, to stand there and accuse... Uh, why, whoever... Uh, but did you ever <laughs> stop? to think that a man's best friend is... Well, well what is mother without a home? I mean, uh, what is home without a bar? Or a thing? Oh, or, I mean, some place where a man... Uh, you get the idea? <laughs> just just two little bums or birds in a gilded coach or cage. Think of it, my friend. A little cottage with a big cheese. Or, I mean, uh, <laughs> cottage cheese. Or, or no, no. A million times no. Or shall we say maybe? McGee, what is this man talking about? Sounds like you got the needle in the wrong groove, Molly. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful thought. Just give a little shiver, 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 uh, uh, thought to, uh, but think of the twilight. A little home in the sticks, or uh, rhubarb, or uh, suburb. Uh, <laughs> covered with mortgages, or uh, ivy, uh, poison ivy, or uh, no, no, that, that was, and a cheerful fire, no insurance. I mean, uh, <laughs> a fire in the fireplace, a scuttle, a kittle, a kittle, a kettle, singing on the stove, or sing, uh, home on the range, or uh, <laughs> and a little wire-haired wife, or uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> A beautiful young pup. 
<laughs> and the kitties. Ah, two charming little golden-haired brats. Er, <laughs> What a beautiful puncture, a picture. <laughs> Who says that Hagelmeyer builds bum bungalows, allows it, or then bungalow, or bung 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 frame house, or stucco? Ah, I'll start to stick on my friends, I mean... Uh, uh, am I hearing right, Molly, or maybe I ate one sandwich too many? Oh, look, McGee, the crowd's going over there for the raffle. Come on, let's see who won. Okay, Molly. Probably be the cousin of Hagelmeyer here. Sir, you are either on Jack or injecting. Er, well, look... Think of owning a toodle, a title free. A little love news, or fig news, or, 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 or love nest, and remember that old limerick, or wise tra- or poem? Let me live in the road by the side of... Or, or, let me carouse by the side of... Under the village oak, Miss... The, uh, the blackface... Or, uh, skip it. Uh, all I can say is that when you build with Hagelmeyer, you'll always regret... Or, I mean, uh, it'll never be... You can depend on why there's not the slightest foundation. That's just what I thought. Come on, McGee, they're drawing numbers. We'll see you later, Mr. Hegel's father. Certainly not. I mean, uh, yes, indeed. You can never depend on Hagelmeyer. You can always get what you want and find out what you want. That there fellow builds houses like he talks. You can park your car in the attic and shingle the cellar. Oh, be quiet, McGee. They're making an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the grand drawing is about to take place. Have your tickets ready. The lucky winner will receive absolutely without cost or expense of any kind... Free and clear title to the beautiful little home you see to my right. To those who do not win, we offer special bargains in home sites, homes designed and built on the beautiful Hagelmeyer Wistful Vista. Just a minute now, while the charming Miss Susie Gloss, who is elected <laughs> Miss Wistful Vista of 1935, draws the lucky number. Oh, dear. They're not holding on to ticket number 13, 13, 13. Quiet, Molly. I want to see if old Hagelmeyer wins it himself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your kind attention, please. The lucky number has been drawn. The number that wins this beautiful example of the home builder's genius is none other than 1,028. 1,028. Will the lucky winner please step right up to the platform here? Uh, well, McGee, at least we had our barbecues and coffee. Oh, uh, shucks, the roof probably leaks anyway. What the... <laughs> Tear up the ticket, McGee. 113 is bad enough for three. Attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, wait a minute, Molly. Maybe we got tie coming. A uh, correction here. A correction, ladies and gentlemen. Number 1,028 was not eligible for the prize as it had been turned in and the money refunded. Another number has been drawn. It is number 131,313. McGee! McGee, did you hear? It's our number, McGee. It's our number. We... McGee, what's the matter with you? I shut my eyes. McGee! Oh, there's somebody. He's breaking. Get back <laughs>
few moments ago, I told you how easy it is to make your car sparkle like new again with Johnson's Auto Cleaner. Now it's very important to protect that gleaming finish so it will stay shining. And it's very important that you use Johnson's Auto Wax in order to give your car the surest protection against sun, rain, and road film. With a gleaming coat of Johnson's Wax on your car, whether new or old, it will resist dust and dirt. Car washings will be cut down after your car is Johnson Wax. The polish wears like iron. Keeps your car in such beautiful condition that you will get much more money for it at the time of resale. So go to your dealer right away. Order Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner at the special price of 98 cents for the two. Your dealer will give you a can of fine quality black touch-up enamel free with your purchase. If you prefer, your garage or service station will wax your car for you. But don't delay another day. Wax your car the Johnson way. So there you are until next Monday night at this same hour on NBC. Remember, NBC. And be sure to specify the genuine Johnson's Auto Wax and Cleaner. NB safe. Oh, and NB. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking. Good night. <laughs> Selection I Wished on the Moon is from the big broadcast of 1936 of V.I. Sing from the show of the same name. This program came to you from our Chicago studio. This is the National Broadcasting Company.